Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time to preview this absolutely heavy pattern, amazing Monarch. It's a 37 and a half by 204. That's a true 17 foot between centers. This happens to be a model 36NN. That's a 36 Nancy Nancy. Serial number on this machine is 8,426. And this machine happens to be our stock number, 9,903. That being said, it has flame-hardened induction ways, a 24-inch buck three jaw, a 25-inch BTC four jaw, an EA series Loris wedge style quick change tool post, taper attachment, two heavy pattern steady rests, a number six Morse taper life center, all that in a sack of chips, rock and roll. The machine's currently wired to 480 volts. We're gonna run this machine for you and show you how well it performs. It happens to be a 25 horsepower main drive motor. I wanted to point out the overall condition, the quality, the integrity of the machine. It's extremely well maintained. It just arrived in from long time storage. Don't let me forget to point out how wide the saddle is and how wide the bedways are. That being said, let's go ahead and run it through some paces. Let's see what you got, Frank. The overall weight on the machine is approximately 25 to 30,000 pounds. There's 16 spindle speeds ranging from 6 to 303 RPM. Please note it also has a chunk guard standard on it. It takes up 312 inches of foot space, or 312 inches of foot space. So it's 312 by 80 inches wide, by 60 inches high. What RPM is that, boss? 37. 37 RPM. Okay, that's 107 RPM. The width of the bed on this machine happens to be 32 inches. That's the nice thing about a Monarch in a 36NN. Such a heavy pattern, rugged machine. Claire. That was high speed, 303 RPM. What's that? 303 RPM? Yeah. 303. Beautiful. This is a Reliance 25 horsepower main drive motor. And again, it's currently wired at 480 volts. It has a square D electric safety switch. Very current electrics. Thank you, Jerry. Hold on, let me get over there, bro. I'm a little out of pocket for a sec. Thanks for pointing out the power rapid traverse. Go ahead, I'm clear. You ever see a machinist with one arm about four times bigger than the other? That's the guy that runs the lathe that doesn't have power rapid traverse, right? Yeah. 
That reminds me of the Shaper Joe. The only thing you can't make with, with it is money. Okay, five minutes in, looking good. Where are we at, Frank? Frank's pointing out this extra heavy duty, massively wide, rigid, number six worst taper tail stock. Has the beautiful etchings on the uh, quill. Well, one thing I'd like to point out is the satin chrome finish on these handles. I just noticed how nice they were. Okay, getting up down and dirty, taking a quick look at the uh, cross slide. Let's start getting into these bedways. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. Very well maintained machine. Extra wide saddle. Extra wide bedways. Massively built headstock. I call this a long handle style Monarch. What we mean by that is the fact that it has the longer handles that are easy to work with, very user friendly. chart and the feeds. Okay, cool, cool. Forward reverse switch up on top of the headstock. Oh, what do you got in there? A little gin bin? Oh, I don't know if I can get the camera back. Hold on. Oh, that's nice. Ah. Okay, so you'll notice inside the trap door, you see your, uh, the gears here. Very cool, very cool. Standard spindle taper for a Monarch. Okay. I'd like to point out the 25-inch uh, four jaw the tooling that goes with it. Nice heavy pattern, 25 inch four jaw chuck. It's brand new in the wrapper. Okay, here's your selection of EA holders. We have a couple of boring bars. Jerry, will you move that ladder back just a little bit for me? About 10 feet, maybe five feet, thank you. Okay, heavy duty boring bar. Standard uh, EA Alora's holders. Okay, backside finished up on the taper attachment. Absolutely amazing. Well done, Frank. Well done. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here's the buck. Three jaw. Okay, going back to these steady rests, the heavy duty oversized with the 21 inch hole and then the one with the roller bearings has the, uh, what is that, 12 and a half inch hole. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then here's the power output traverse motor right here, very good, very good. You'll notice that we have the manuals with this machine, we have the leveling studs ready to go inside of it. Ooh. I think we need to sell lathe so we can buy a new tripod. What happened? Okay. Well, on behalf of Machinery Consultants, we'd like to thank you for your time. We appreciate you previewing this video. If you're on machinerysconsultants.com, click on the burn tab, use machines, specifically not engine lathe. You'll find this under stock number Walmart 36NS. 801 531 9500. Give us a call. We'd love to sell you this machine. Until next time, be happy to help you. Have a great day. Thanks again.